How much do you know about the services you can get from Leader CNC? Well, James, can you give us an introduction into you and who are Leader CNC? <laughs> Well, it's a good introduction that you made because I, my perception is that people don't know much about what Leader CNC can offer. I think we've been a victim of our own success for 26 years and that we've been very, very capable technical engineers providing solutions. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but that's how the business was born. Uh, and because of the natural consequence of that, our engineering team are quite capable of working across all the different controls, uh, and a range of machines. Uh, and that, that puts us in not a unique position, but a really strong position, mainly because we're not selling loads and loads and loads of machines. We've positioned ourselves to sell a good number of machines and support them well, rather than a volume player in the market. So everything from a really specialist, massive, big, complex installation uh, much more complex even than this one that we're looking at, right down to just a simple installation of a, a, a VMC. Um, but you get all the benefit of the technical nous behind every installation. Now, a little later on we're going to go into installation because we all know big machines, we've all seen big machines, but one of my biggest questions is how do you get something of this size in a hole past other machines? But before we get onto that, you guys at Leader CNC actually have a lot of services that people don't know about. So what are some of the things you can do which maybe others can't? Well, one of the first things that we ever did was start to look at how machines work and how to redesign them, refurbish them, repurpose them, because that was a passion in the original owner of Leader CNC who has recently retired from the business. Um, Deservedly so, after 25 <laughs> years of, 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 of doing really, really good things in the industry. Um, so, because of that, we can look at anybody's problem and say, okay, well, yeah, maybe that's a new machine solution, maybe that's a repurpose of an old machine, uh, but we look at it through engineers' eyes and then take the, the cradle to grave turnkey approach almost. Uh, and if people want a turnkey, we'll give them a turnkey. If, if people just need a little bit of help and advice and consultancy, that's what we'll do. But the people that turn up to do that are engineers. Uh, our sales team has been born through the service and applications team at Leader. And there's one point I'd like to get across from talking to you and Vince earlier is, like you said, all your staff are engineers. Yeah. And I like the fact that you know your customers that well, you know the parts they're making that well, that you can even specify what you want on a machine that isn't or wasn't actually available on that machine to start with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> that we're lucky in that respect. Well, we're not lucky. Actually, we've contrived that. And that's down to the partnerships that we've built with machine tool suppliers. You know, we've selected partnerships with people that we can work with on that modular basis. Case in point, the firm app that's behind us here. Their whole manufacturing process is based on high quality modular manufacturing. So that helps people like us work really, really well with the customer to say, okay, what's the next stage of the process? Let's walk through this together. Uh, nobody knows their business better than they do. So it's not up to us to tell them how to run their business, how to make their components. But what we can do is genuinely partner with taking them to that outcome focus. But we know what we can deliver through our partners with the likes of Firma and, and quite a few other brands actually. And I think for anyone at home who's looking, they don't want to be scared of you guys that you just do these big solutions. If, if they need a machine and they need a machine now, because you've got so many partners, it's not just the big specific monstrous machines. You can sort of get anything quickly. Well. Yes, I mean that's a big shout of course, um, but that, I think that's the thing that's, that's evolving with, with Leader. So Leader have got that reputation and always have had, you don't, you don't run a business for 26 years without something at its core, its DNA as I, as I spoke about earlier. But what's different about Leader now and what's changing is the way that we approach the sales process. We've got another couple of dealerships involved, one of which is, is I'm going to name, is called Miltronics. Uh, that allows us to get into the volume market. Uh, we've got other 
ranges such as Grupo Papa, such as Shibora, uh, that are really, really complex high-end solutions. And from one extreme to the other, with some other brands in the middle there as well, uh, you're right, we can have a conversation around anybody's solution. What we'll also be is very honest and manage expectations. So if we can't deliver in time, then, then that's exactly what we'll say. But the chances are that we've got a solution that we can, we can crack the problem with, yeah. And I think it's, like you said, that honesty and that rapport you have with customers, which we've seen here today, is you're not just a, here's a machine, thank you very much, see you later. You are with them from the start to even after that machine's running. And that brings me on to the next point of your guys' project management, which will nicely put us into being, being at the, the center of everything and being able to be the key that helps go from when they're looking for a machine today, delivering it. How do you guys deal with all that pressure of also not just working with your own staff, but then working with contractors to get this machine in this hole through a very tight gap? <laughs> well, again, I think it's about knowing your position. So we've positioned ourselves not in that volume marketplace. Uh, and if we did, we would, we would outstretch ourselves very, very quickly. So uh, we, we pick and choose the, the battles we want to take on and then responsibly deliver that to the customer. Uh, now, because of that approach, uh, we are a reasonably small, agile, but punch way above our weight type company. I think it's probably the best way of saying it. Brilliant because, analogy. Yeah, because you know we can and do take on a project knowing full well what we're getting into. Um, and yeah, if somebody wants, you described a scenario, I need a machine next week, what, what is it? Well, um, it's, it's, I need a, at least a meter in X and I need a machine next week and it's just three axis. Okay, well, we've got one that's a little bit bigger than that. Do you want it? Yeah, okay, fine. We can install that in half a day. Uh, because we do all the pre-work somewhere else um, and you're up and running nicely. Uh, what we take away from that is all the hassle. We, we, we use this phrase, hassle-free CNC. So we try and negate all of the obstacles that most people run into when approaching that sort of fast turnaround market. That can, We can do that because that is easy compared to what you've just described. Um, where we have to get something like this inside through a gap through a hole? The answer is project management. It is as simple as that. It's, it's measure twice, cut once, work with our customers, see what contractors they work with because often they've done this before. So we work with their people as well as our people and find the best solution. And it's then about project management, it's about communication, as you've, used, as you've said, honesty, integrity, that plays a massive part because you only make one massive mistake once and you've got a lot to claw back. So it's about being able to work with people. Now, just to go quite specific on this, yep. just talk really quickly on the installation of this machine. And there's one point I want you to say, I don't want to say I, I know and what it, you're going to say. And it's, it's the cabling system on this is something I have never seen before. So. It's not just getting a machine in, it's getting all the, the bits nobody thinks about. And it's, it's, it's that, that source you've got to sort out. That's the thing. It's the bits that nobody's thought about. So when you're sitting down and managing the project, you think, right, what? let's think of all the contingencies. What ifs, what if, what if? And the example that I know you, you, you're fishing <laughs> for here, and it is just one example, but you know, with a machine like this, there's a pit, there's coolant, there's cables, there's a lot of heavy moving things that are going on. When you install a machine on day one and hand it over, brilliant. Uh, how's that machine going to sit in there after 20 years? Because these installations are not kind of, oh well, we'll replace it in two years. This is a long-term solution. All the cabling and all the pipe work, the coolant, the electrics, when we and the contractor built the pit and put the contract uh, and put the concrete in place. We thought to plumb it, if you want, uh, put pipe work in there, uh, conduits, and all of the cable is laying nicely within a network of pipe work that's under the concrete. Now, that does several things. 
and it's so obvious when you think about it, but you know, it's you won't see cabling just laying around and guttering everywhere. You won't be getting cooling on it. You won't be getting oil on it that degrades all the uh, the outside of the rubber. Uh, you're not going to get it crimped under heavy machinery. It's protected by a layer of concrete wrapped in pipe work. Now the other thing to that is that eventually, if that cabling goes wrong, just simply pull it out, and it's going to be clean as a whistle. Repair it, pull it back through again. It's just. But Obvious. just make sure you put some rope on it so you can get it back through. And employ somebody <laughs> that knows their knots. Fair enough. <laughs> now, we've been through quite a lot in this, and I think one of the I think the, the best way to end this video would be yeah. if somebody watching at home has a solution they really need help with, they want something this size, or like you've said, they need something next week, what is the easiest way for them to get in contact with you? Oh all of the usual suspects really. They're at the website, of course, so www.leadercnc.co.uk. That will take you to all of the link points. We're quite active on social media, LinkedIn. Uh, contact me directly. Our mobile numbers are available. Um, yeah, all of the usual suspects. What we would love to have is more conversations with more engineers about what we can offer.